Hello everyone, so I'm back today and I am going to be reacting in a moment at least to myself and my own predictions for the Golden Globe Awards. In the mean, now before of that, of course, we do have to, you know, I think it's important to talk about this award show. Now, often I don't talk about this award show, um, but I do feel like I need to defend it and also not defend it in uh, two different breaths. So first I'm gonna defend it. And what I will say is, I do feel bad for the guy who did the opening monologue, it sucked. I'm gonna be honest with you, it sucked. I don't think there's a single person said anything positive about it, and as much as I wanted to, it was awful. It was terrible, it, the jokes were in poor taste. Um, but I think what it did show, if we're being honest, is the out of touch nature that is the Golden Globes. Like. This is an award show where you've got a bunch of celebrities and you need an insider in that group to make it to, you know, be able to kind of quote unquote roast them without it seeming offensive, right? And, and it may sound mean, but the reality is you look at a guy like Ricky Gervais who has done some amazing monologues and then you look at um, this guy who, you know, is an, is an outsider to this group, right? So, and I think it, to some extent, you know, it's kind of like if I were to go up there and start, you know, trying to make jokes. Like, you know, they may be funny to some people, but at the end of the day, you're an out, I'm an outsider, so it's just going to seem like I'm being mean to them. So I think that was kind of the bigger problem that plagued this. Uh, he had a few off-putting Barbie jokes, which are kind of like, you just scratch your head. Um, obviously, the Taylor Swift thing was a little bit weird as well. And then obviously, he also threw his writers under the bus. I mean, again, it was very awkward. I feel sympathy. Like, I, I do feel bad for him. I don't, like, I think, I, and again, I was kind of, you know, triple screening this because I was watching the Golden Globes, the Raptors game, and the Bills game all at the same time. So, I mean, you know, you can tell which one I kind of looked away from the most. Um, I'll tell you, it was probably, it was this award show. Uh, because even the bits in the show weren't that great. Like, I, you know, they didn't, I didn't think the presenters any of them did a remarkable job um i was like again i don't i don't know what to expect from a, an award show anymore um the one thing actually i will say because this is something important is uh this new box office achievement award is such a stupid fucking award okay because this all they did was they just gave it to barbie because it made the most money like i I mean, if you want to talk about box office achievement, I mean, again, I'm not going to act like I'm a, like a, some super fan here, but like uh, that Taylor Swift movie probably would have deserved it, right? Because of how much that managed to do. Or if you wanted to nominate five, I don't think Five Nights at Freddy's was nominated. It should have probably been. Again, if you want to talk about overachieving, right? If that wants to be, if that's what you're kind of like saying, like uh, which movie kind of came in and was a cult classic type thing? Because if you're just going to give it to the movie that grows the most money, why is it an award? That That's ridiculous. Um... There were some other awards which were good, uh, and I mean, again, you know, I'm trying to think, but like the rate. So now the other thing I wanted to mention was the ratings are up, right? The ratings are up from the last since 2020. The ratings have uh, increased for the show. I am so my prediction is this, and this is what I've been saying for a while. But it's basically this idea that if you nominate for the top awards. Movies which people watch and people like, people are going to show up. You don't make these... Oh, I guarantee you. Actually, I can't guarantee you, but I'm pretty sure. No one went to this award show to watch who's going to get the most popular cinematic box office whatever award. They went because... I'll be... Again, you know, maybe it's because Taylor Swift is nominated in that category. Sure, whatever. But also because the reality is Oppenheimer and Barbie were both heavily nominated and they're also heavily watched. And I think it's very rare you get a situation where two movies are very heavily nominated and very heavily watched. Um, but is, that is absolutely also the... Um, I just got an email. Anyways, I uh, just got uh, also... Like, that is something which matters, right? And I think we saw this... You know, I, I, again, you know, it's it, people's tastes are changing. I don't think people care about award shows anymore. I think people watch movies they would like to watch. Uh, I don't think there's much else... Uh, to talk about with that now going on to the let now go on to the actual thing because i i mean unless i'm forgetting something i don't think there's much else it was a bad award show the oscars aren't going to be better 
Like, it, you know, this is kind of where we are with award shows. Very few people watch. Very few people are invested. Um, you know, at least the late night people kind of are a little bit funnier. Anyways, I might do a full reaction to the opening monologue. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, let's start with this. And I'm going to shrink my face here. And I'm going to do... Oh, there we go. Woo, okay, there we go. Now we're going to take a look at what I thought was going to win these awards. So, now this one this one took me a long time, actually. Oh, to be honest with you. I can't hear it. I was thinking Killers of Flower Moon. I'm going with Oppenheimer for this, though. Um, I just think... And this is for best film drama. Uh, Oppenheimer, I think, is just the obvious choice here. I, I think the best picture pick is not going to be from the drama section, which is why... Uh, for the Oscar Best Picture pick is um, so I picked Oppenheimer I think, here, and this is for Best Film Drama. And uh, Oppenheimer, I, th I have to keep stopping this because it's not going to work otherwise. Uh, so the winner was Oppenheimer. So you know, look at me, so smart. It's just the obvious choice here. I I think the Best Picture pick is not going to be from the drama section, which is why. Uh, for the Oscar I actually do now, by the way. From the drama I've from changed my mind not on as that. much of a slam dunk as it normally would be. Um, I'm, I don't really care about the runner-ups. I'll probably... I'm not going to put anything from this. Some of these I'll put... Um, some of these I'll put a different one, but like a second one, but for this one I'm not going to. Come on, come on, Lily Gladstone. Let's do so, it. So, best film actress, drama... Now, this one's going to be Lily Gladstone. Woo! This is probably two for already, two. Again, this is probably a slam dunk. I don't think I it see, was like there's nobody here who I'm like there's a chance this person you know ends up in that in that position. It's going. To I be was really right by the way. Stone. Um, this is top tier analysis. Anyways, best film drama actor. So this one ended up going to. Um, this list is all okay. I got it. Now this one was the hard one for me. I'm going to go with um, Cillian Murphy. Woo! Again, three. Four, Four, three, undefeated. Uh, Oppenheimer. I'm gonna put Leonardo DiCaprio from Killer of the Flower Moon, Killers of the Flower Moon, on this list as a runner-up, along with Bradley Cooper. I don't think either of them will get it. I do think it'll be Sylvester Stallone's right. award, but you know, I was right. Pretend like there's some level of like, you know, there because this that's probably the closest category we've seen. Okay, so come on. I don't remember what I put for this now, one, this but one, I, think I think I was right. You, we probably have the. Best picture from the Oscars. It'll probably be Barbie. Damn I it! Think that's going to happen. I put poor things in number two. I think that way. But I think Barbie wins. So I think Barbie and Hyper wins the two top awards. Damn um, it! From the Golden Globes, I think best picture. Um, I think poor things will definitely be up there based on the hype that's been surrounding it. But come on, man! So close. I think Barbie is going to be that. Fine. Good. One wrong. Now. Next, we have Best Comedy Film, Comedy Musical Actress. So I, Emma Stone thing has really, like, jumped up recently, which is weird to me, I think. Don't, don't be stupid here. But I am going to go with Emma Stone. Woo! Because I don't think Margot Robbie's going to win a For Best Actress. right. I just don't, like, I, because some of them, you know, they're very, dip, they try to be, and again, I'm thinking more, uh, Golden Globes aren't really this way, but... You know, I'm thinking this. A lot of this is a preview toward the Oscars. Yeah, I was they're, wrong. They're very different. Poor things win both. Okay, no. And I don't think you see people win multiple times. Although I guess Lee is going to be Lily Gladstone for the Oscars, anyways. But uh, Margot Robbie's probably up there. Uh, and I'll put Jennifer Lawrence on this list just because you know, that'd be, if she got nominated that uh, for the Oscars Best Actress, that'd be funny. Um, and okay, best let's actor. go. Come this on. one I wasn't sure about. I'll Come tell on. you now, and I wish I could cross things off, but like. No, uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm. Let's go. Come on. I want to go Jeffrey Wright. No. I'll put Paul Giamatti there. No. With, um, Jeffrey Wright. This is a weird category again because I feel like I, like, I don't. I mean, I just think the Golden Globes just need to like combine their categories, but whatever. Damn it! I was so close. Okay, yeah. wait. Can we count? The close ones is as correct. I don't know. I was so close. The analysis was key. 
we have Best Supporting Actress. And Wait, I gotta check who won this one. Hold on. Do 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 do. What? Where'd it go? I don't understand why I can't find the best. Oh, I found it. I got this one wrong. This one actually took me a while to kind of figure out. I guarantee you, I got this one wrong. Just to make sure I got it right. Supporting. Yes. Okay. So. <sighs> See the problem with this again is they didn't nominate who I w w w wish they nominated um, specifically from. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oof, I really don't know if I want to do this. Okay, fine. Danielle Brooks. No. Uh, the color purple. I haven't seen the color purple, but the hype is there. I just there's there's the whole racism thing with the with the awards he's in gen in general. Um, so you know. Damn it! I tried to big brain this one and it didn't work. Just as the fallback. I didn't. Wasn't right. So best uh, mean. Uh, this one Go with your heart. Your heart says Robert I don't Downey Jr. Do it. Uh, you know what? Let's give it to Robert Downey Jr. Yes. I, think it's gonna I do think it'll be Ryan Gosling, but my bias is being a. No, my I, I end up changing ignore this. that. Um, I didn't say that. I will put uh, Robert De Niro as well because I think that he probably has the. Anyways, best film director. Come on, give it to Nolan. Give it to Nolan. Give it this to Nolan. This one again, you know. It give was it to hard. Nolan. I feel like it's gonna be. Christopher Come on, Nolan. stay with it. Woo! Or it'll be Greta Gerwig. Another or one. Martin Scorsese. I don't think it'll be anybody else. Um, best film screenplay. I actually don't know. This will probably be poor thing. Well, I gotta check which who ended up winning this. Okay. It could be Barbie as well, but again, I think you know you, when you try to be diplomatic about how many people, what awards people get, and trying to be fair about it, you don't see things very often. So this is an Anatomy of the Fall. I'm not gonna get it. You know, again. I think there are a bunch of options for this one, but I, th I think Poor Things will end up winning it. No. Uh, best Animated Feature. I got this one wrong, too, because I said Spider-Verse probably. Uh, it was Boy and the Hero. The Susan May, by the way, for getting nominated. Um, I, don't, I do think Spider-Verse has this locked. There are some issues. It doesn't, it was, and it's uh, not going to win the Oscar. Spider-Verse, but whatever. And I'll put Susan May second, because... You know, I was very wrong. I don't know why I did that. Non-English film. This one was actually a tough category, and, you know, again, I normally don't, I mean, because Past Lives was... It's going to be Anatomy of, of a Fall. Yeah. The Zone of Interest is probably number two, and Past Lives is probably number three. I was right, you know though. what the odds say? The I analysis is one, peak. But, um, yeah. Score. Now we're getting into... We're going to take a look quickly. Okay, got it. Areas which I'm going to get this one wrong, look. too. I don't like doing this as much as you don't like doing this, or maybe you do like doing this, but... Okay, there we go. I did it right. I got it right. We're good. We're good. I thought about killers. I thought about poor things. I just about don't change your mind. It's not going to be. However, what we will do, and I'll probably talk about this more later. There is a no Spider Verse song here, and it's and there's three and it's racist. Barbie we songs. Come on, like, come on. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, and this isn't even a good song. Come on. It just come makes, on. It's just noisy. No. And I no. think this is the most overrated song. In, so don't click on industry. it. And same with this one, actually. Don't click honest. on it. And I don't want to choose any of these. Like, I so then pick the one. Options. I was... But, look, this is the best of the three, and then, or best of the four, top four, I guess. And I'm just... Yeah, we're right again. One, Another one right. Here. Cinematic and box. I don't even know what this actually means still. See? So it's a dumb award. The way I look at it, it's going to be one of these two. And look, again, That's on the spot maybe Oppenheimer because and again weird because my idea was okay what overachieved will Taylor Swift Barbie made the most money who knows again the two best picture nom like things I think are going to win best picture are both here which is why I was wrong I'm going to do this okay. I mean no. again I don't still understand how this award is like I don't no. know what the requirements for this are damn it I mean, it was supposed to be a way to like give nods to like non prestige films, but again, often see again, but that my logic was sound there because the idea of this was to, you know, best picture nominees weren't gonna win this. Both nominated for best picture. By the way, if they get nominated for best picture Oscars, I guarantee you the Oscar ratings will go up. 
because that's by the way again another like key piece of analysis by me because the Golden Globe ratings went up because they both got nominated. Yeah, and this is the first year where you've got two of look at this analysis though, man. Year. This is like being, I peak me. The highest grossing. I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. It definitely made a billion dollars, so you know that makes it a top tier movie. But people are going to be watching because people are going to care for the first time. And so with that being said, my God, I am awesome. So what that means is the final score was 9 of 15, which, you know, again, 60% not great, but remember this, often, like a lot of these were films which I was so close to putting in, or actors who I was so close to putting in, and I just kind of overthought it and you know but 9 to 15 is a pretty good you know 60 percent we could have done better we had like barbie in that spot and then we switched it because again that award makes no sense we had um we were really between paul giamatti and jeffrey wright for best actor and we just picked the wrong one so we were we were between poor things and um barbie for best at picture so you know we're right there we just couldn't seal the deal so you know nine is still good you know i'm not complaining we're gonna do better though for the oscars uh because we're going we're aiming for 100 percent. and again you know gotta stop doubting poor things which i'm not going to in the future with that being said Thank you all for watching. Wait, actually, don't leave yet. Okay, so we are going to do this because I had it all set up anyways. We're going to react to this, at least part of this opening monologue. It's 10 minutes. I'm not going to watch it all, but, you know, might as well, you know, enjoy this. Annual Golden Globes, I'm your host, Joe Coy. So, look, he starts off good. You know, everyone's had, I don't know where the Taylor Swift joke is, but anyways. I can't believe I watched all of this. Anyways, again, I mean, I was half watching it, but, like, why? <sighs> like, you're cool, but, like, that wasn't good. Anyways, thank you all for watching. 30-minute video. Have fun with that. See you next time. Bye.